Alright, what's going on guys, Willis Gaming here, we are back again with another Destiny 2 video, finally, so the Bungie livestream for the Warmind DLC preview just finished, um, they basically showed us a bunch of new activities, a bunch of new gear and stuff that we're hopefully going to be uh, be able to chase and actually spend some time on. Uh, when the Born Mind DLC releases, but obviously before this video begins guys, I'm giving away some silver. All you have to do to enter is like the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel. With that out the way, let's jump into some exclusive screenshots I was actually sent by Activision to show you guys. Um, it is a press pack and we get to see a bunch of exotics that weren't actually shown on the live stream. So this is exclusive just for you guys. So we're going to be taking a look at some weapons. Um, we're going to be taking a look at some armor, and we're going to be taking a look at the new uh, game mode which is coming to the PvE side of things called Escalation Protocol. Um, this is pretty much, um, I'm not going to call it Court of Oryx, but it basically is Court of Oryx pretty much. Um, there's a rotating boss each week, um, five unique bosses, um, unique boss rewards, so when you kill a certain boss you'll get a certain piece of gear which is cool. And other than that, it looks pretty cool, I guess. Like, there are um, weapons you can use throughout the um, fight and stuff like that. But yeah, any enough of that, enough of that. You guys want to see the exotics, I know. So let's just jump straight into it. So, starting off, we uh, have um, the, the, the Apotheosis Veil. This is a returning warlock exotic, obviously. The perk, I can't remember the perk. I'm trying to think of the perk. I think it was, it had something to do with Orbs of Light. I mained a warlock in Destiny 1. This is horrible. I should remember what it does, but... Comment down below, I'm trying to think what it does, it's not coming to me, but Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. The Armamentarium is coming back, see I know what this does, this gives you a second grenade. Whether or not the uh, perk has changed in D2, I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, the Armamentarium for the Titan is returning. Um, so now we have a new exotic called the Asian Wake, or the Ashen Wake. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to see the perks with these screenshots, so you guys are just going to have to use your imagination, but um, they kind of look like they have something to do with Void or maybe a Sunbreaker, I guess, because it does say Sunbreaker there, so it could have something to do with the Sunbreaker perk or Sunbreaker perks. So next we have the Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock. Um, these actually look like they've sort of obviously been reworked. They look uh, sharper or like curlier, I guess, but yeah, the Claws of Ahamkara for the Warlock. Next we have the Eternal Warrior returning from D1 again. Um, unfortunately there is a lot of returning exotics. I didn't actually notice that the first time I looked at these. But we have the Eternal Warrior for the Titan. The Frost E's or the Frost EE5's if you want to call them. Um, for the Hunter. Everyone loves these boots I'm sure. Um, we have the Ophidia Space or Spath. Terrible pronunciation, I'm sorry, but obviously it looks like it has something to do uh, Night Stalker maybe, I have no idea, but they have snakes on them and there's daggers on the chest, which looks pretty cool. This is for the Hunter. Um, next we have a new exotic for the Warlock called the Sanjuin Alchemy. No idea what the pick does, looks pretty cool, maybe something with um, Sunbre Sunbreaker? Sun Dawnblade, Sunbreaker, what? Dawn Blade. So yeah, maybe something to do with that. Um, we have the Sealed Ahamkara's Grasp returning for the Hunter. Uh, we have the Surus Regime, which is returning, which is pretty cool. This is an exotic auto rifle from D1. Everyone loved the weapon, everyone wanted it, and then eventually it did get nerfed um, in the later life of Destiny 1, and it kind of sucked because the gun was insane and I loved it, but it then became a uh, nuisance to use. Other than that, we have the Huckleberry, which looks like, oh, it's pretty much, yeah, a submachine gun. Um, the perk, no idea, but they are revamping a lot of the old exotics, which is pretty cool, so maybe this will have an OP perk and it'll be the new Galahorn, I doubt it. Um, we've got the Oculus XOL, or Zol, the Oculus Zol, the hive do not see how we see, they look beyond into the infinite, into the dark. Pretty cool, it looks like a basic helmet with like some hive stuff slapped on it, we could be seeing an interesting perk here. Um, we've got the Warm Worm God Caress, or Caress, the Worm God Caress, whip, I can't talk to the guys, apologies, but this is for the Titan it looks like, um, no idea what the perk is, something with green, um, we've got the Worm Husk Crown, which is pretty cool, and you notice that a lot of stuff is based around the Hive, because there are Hive on this DLC, there's a lot of Hive, in fact, they are like Frost Hive, or Ice Hive, whatever you want to call them, um, pretty much. But yeah, that's all the exotic uh, armor pieces and weapons. 
um, in this video. Now we're going to take a look at uh, some of the gear, I guess, that you're able to get. This is obviously some of the legendary gear. Maybe these are some exotics, but here's the first picture. It looks pretty awesome. This gear looks insane. It, it looks like you're wearing like full like sleeper simulant tech Rasputin, which is pretty cool. Next, we have a few guardians running here. I really like the design of this gear. It kind of reminds me, unfortunately, of the Vosik raid, I guess. My mind has eluded me with all of these raid names and stuff in Destiny, but it doesn't not look like that. Um, then we have this one here. Looks pretty insane. I'm glad I'm playing a Titan for this DLC because the armor looks so freaking cool. Um, we've got another Titan here with some creepy looking uh, Thrall or Hive in the background, which looks scary. Um, we've got this insane looking sniper rifle. Um, that looks awesome. No idea what it's going to do, but it looks insane. Um, here we have a rocket launcher with a hunter. And that's pretty much it for all of the sick armor screenshots. Um, let's move on to Escalation Protocol and then we'll round up the video. So, Escalation Protocol is pretty much an event on or near Clovis Bray um, on Mars. Pretty much ice caps stuff um you do an event you get gear pretty much i'm just going to compare it to call of Oryx because that's the easiest way i can do it there's going to be ways of enemies um some bosses will require you to do unique stuff to kill them um it's not just going to be waves um there's going to be a weapon that drops called the valkyrie which is pretty much a lance or a spear where you throw it and it explodes you get it for 10 seconds and that's going to help you in the fight other than that, yeah, there's this massive pillar thing, which is, I think it's Rasputin calling the Hive some stuff, I guess. Um, you get a Hive sword, which is sick, and there's an Ogre, pretty much. Um, I hope this is going to have replayability, because if it doesn't, I will not come back to it. Um, I want a reason to play this, and hopefully Bungie have delivered. Um, I pray, I pray. But yeah, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to drop a like down below. Don't forget to enter that silver giveaway member. All you have to do is subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below, and leave a like. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. This has been Mullis Gaming, and peace.